go over a generic dynamic warm-up that pretty much anybody can do to get ready for an activity. Starting off, just a nice easy set of glute bridges. Okay, so pushing through the heel, raising the hips up nice and high. Easy set of 10 to 15 is fine. After that, we're going to go into knee hugs. So you're going to bring a knee up to your chest, hug it tight, all the way back out. Anywhere from 5 to 10 on each side is fine. After that, we're going to go into straight leg raises. We're going to have your hands under your low back just to support your back. Okay, Raising up one leg at a time, making sure we pull those toes back towards us. Loosen up the hamstrings. Again, anywhere from 10 to 15 on each side is plenty. Once we get through that, we're going to turn over onto our side. Okay. We're going to do what's called a sprinkler. So we're going to bring that top leg up. Bottom hand is actually going to hold on to that, that top leg. Top arm is going to go onto the head. Okay. And we're going to rotate open. So it's very important we keep our ribs down you know, as we rotate open. So that we're mostly just working through that thoracic spine and actually getting it to mobilize instead of just allowing our ribs to flare and getting extension through there. Okay, So it's very important to keep those ribs down and to open up. Anywhere from about 8 to 10 or 8 to 12 is plenty on each side. After that we're going to shift into the push-up position. And we're going to do a little bit of a sequence here. So the first thing we're going to do is a Spider-Man stretch. So we're going to step one foot up all the way to the outside of the hand. Keeping that back leg fairly straight and we're trying to open up that hip flexor. Then we're going to shift into what's called a pigeon stretch. We're going to fold that leg under. Again, trying to keep that back leg as straight as we can and trying not to shift too much from side to side. Okay, from there we're going to shift back into a downward dog stretch for the calves. And then we're going to do the whole thing on the other side. Okay, anywhere from about three to five times per side is plenty. After that, we're going to stand up, grab a stick, a broomstick is fine. Uh, you can even use a band, that works okay. It's best if you have a stick, it just makes it a little bit easier. And we're going to keep our arms nice and straight and raise up over our heads. Again, making sure we keep our ribs down to not get the motion through our spine, to just loosen up those shoulders a little bit. Anywhere from about 5 to 10 is fine. After that, you're going to put the stick on your shoulders. We're going to make sure our hips stay nice and still. And we're just going to rotate from side to side again to kind of loosen up that thoracic spine and just help our shoulders open up and get ready for the workout. 